click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in today's video we are going to see the topic called as practical integrator that means how we are moving from basic integrator to practical integrator so let's begin with the topic <music> We know that integrator is a circuit which is used to produce output waveform which is integration of the input signal applied at the inverting or non-inverting terminal of the op-amp. The basic integrator circuit consists of capacitor as a feedback element. But due to the presence of capacitor, the value of reactance of capacitor becomes very high which increases gain of the circuit to the infinity. So, even if there is no input signal, the output can be having a very high value which is nothing but the error voltage. As the gain is very high, that means infinity, the op-amp can amplify input offset voltage and provide large signal at the output even if there is no AC input signal. This output voltage is considered as error voltage. Also, due to the application of capacitor as a feedback element, the input bias current charges or discharges the capacitor which will either ramp up or ramp down the output voltage. So sometimes the output voltage may reach to either positive or negative saturation level. Also at DC signal the circuit cannot be used to amplify or cannot be used to provide output at high frequency signal. So these are some basic disadvantages of basic or ideal integrator circuit. So in order to overcome this, we need to move to a circuit called as practical integrator. In case of practical integrator circuit, the resistor RF is get included along with a capacitor in the feedback path. So let's see the circuit first. So the circuit of practical integrator looks like here RF is connected in the feedback path along with the capacitor CF and R1, R compound are connected as it is. In this circuit, as RF is included in parallel with capacitor, because of this, the low frequency gain is not now equal to infinity. It is now restricted to a value that is minus RF by R1. As the value of RF is very high, therefore the output equation of practical integrator is same as basic integrator and it will not change any operation of the circuit. So the output equation is given by VO is equals to minus 1 by R1CF integration 0 to T V in DT plus C where C is called as integration constant and it is equal to output value when time period is equal to 0 and it is approximately considered as 0 only. Minus sign is included in the equation because the input is given to the inverting terminal of the op-amp. As the value of RF is very high, therefore the operation of the circuit is remain same and circuit provide same waveform as the output waveform when we applied step, sine and square wave at the input. So when the sine wave is applied at the input, the output is nothing but integration of sine wave which is nothing but cosine wave. When square wave is applied at the input, the output is same as the step input signal. So when step input is applied, we will get, if the step having magnitude positive A, then we will get output as a straight line which is having slope of minus A. So in case of square wave, square is nothing but the extended version of step input signal and therefore in case of square wave, if if the input having magnitude positive A then we will get output with the slope minus A and if the input having magnitude minus A then we will get output with slope positive A. That means we can use the integrator circuit for production of triangular or ramp wave. If from the circuit we will come to know that the resistor R compound is connected to the non-inverting terminal of the op-amp and it is nothing but the parallel combination of R1 and RF. And this is considered as approximately equals to R1 only. As the value of resistance RF is very high, therefore the operation of the circuit is remains same. So even at high frequency, the capacitance reactance get reduces to a low value. Therefore, the capacitor will shunt the resistance RF and operation of the circuit is remains same. Now, let's look at the condition for proper integration. For proper integration of input signal having time period T, the input signal required to satisfy a condition that is nothing but T supposed to be less than RF into CF where RF and CF is given by 
is equals to 1 upon 2 pi fa so from this equation we can calculate the value of fa and fa becomes 1 upon 2 pi rf into cf now let's see the frequency response of ideal and practical integrator circuit now from the frequency response we will come to know that after the frequency fa the gain of the practical as well as ideal integrator starts reduces to a value towards zero and the rate of change of reduction is 20 db per decade at frequency fb the gain is reduces to 0 db per decade that means the value of fb can be given as fb is equals to 1 upon 2 pi r1 cf so from the frequency response we will come to know that the bandwidth provided by practical integrator is very small and it is restricted between the range fa to fb only so the minimum frequency range that can be required by practical integrator is till range fa and the limit is from fa to fb now let's see the relationship between fa and fb the fa should be equal to fb by 10 now let's see what are the different advantages and disadvantages provided by practical as well as ideal integrator the practical integrator provides various advantages that means it provides less gain which is infinity in case of basic integrator then it provides more accurate frequency response it provides more stability therefore no oscillations in the output then it provides a very sharp frequency response then disadvantages of practical integrator are the operation of the circuit is limited to a frequency range from fa to fb if the output goes or if the input signal frequency goes beyond this range then output get distorted then parameters of op amp can also affect the output waveform as well as output voltage so these are the some disadvantages of practical integrator or active integrator now let's see what are the applications of active integrator the active integrator circuit can be used to provide triangular or ramp waveform as we know that when the square input is applied to the input terminal of active integrator the output is ramp waveform or triangular waveform therefore it can be used for triangular wave generator or ramp wave generator the second application of active integrator is that it can be used in the a to d converter that means analog to digital converter next the active integrator can be used to obtain a signal which is integration of the input signal applied to inverting or non-inverting terminal of the op amp in case of communication circuit the active integrator also plays an important role so these are the some advantage disadvantage and applications of practical or active integrator circuit so i hope you understand this topic of practical integrator in which the disadvantages of basic integrator is overcome by introducing resistance rf across cf due to which the gain of the circuit is get controlled and because of that the error voltage which was produced at the output of basic integrator is get reduced and gain can be controlled because of the introduction of rf the circuit can be useful in many practical application so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira subscribe ikira thank you